Hello everyone, welcome to Haley Moon Tarot. This is a bonus love reading for Sagittarius. Hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome back to all my subscribers and a big welcome to all the new viewers. See what's happening in your overall energy in love. Little bonus love reading. Yes, you guys get lots of hits, so I'm giving you a little bonus. A little additional info. It could be totally different than the weekly reading, which I put up every Thursday. Observer. Happy, happy. <laughs> Somebody's observing you, and it makes them happy. What they see makes them happy. Yes, and poised. Wow. Look at this. Yes, this person sees you as poised. They probably see you as kind of classy or something, too. Okay. Yeah, this is beautiful. This this person's, uh, this could be you as well, observing somebody else and it's making you happy. But I'm going to read it from them coming in because that's the way my mind was thinking when I was shuffling. All right. Sagittarius, who is coming towards you? Who is your love interest? What do you need to know? Ooh. Your love interest, Queen of Swords. Ooh, somebody's being very discerning. There you are, Sag. <laughs> this person wants some answers. <laughs> They're going to ask a lot of questions. They're very discerning. But they are becoming clear. They're observing you. They're doing a lot of thinking. Okay, this could be you as well, being very discerning, Sagittarius. You're looking at somebody. You see them. Yeah, you like what you see absolutely you do you're looking at them thinking wow i i like i like that person though so i feel like this is you sag <laughs> they could be looking at you thinking that but it could be you looking at someone else so i'm just going to read it like it's them looking at you and you flip it because we know in readings they do completely flip so yes there you are yeah you want to rush towards somebody you don't want to keep looking you want to do it okay <laughs> you want to I, I got to say, I have to tell you, I'm going to have to read this like it's you because I feel like it is. There's somebody here that you feel is a good fit. You want to rush towards them. There's a lot of chemistry, a lot of passion. You want to just charge in, okay? That's you. <laughs> yep. There's a cycle coming to an end here. Something is coming to an end. Ah, temperance. You're going to have to learn to temper this. Sag, that's what it's telling you. You're going to have to temper your adventuresome ways of rushing in and out. You may be thinking about that. You may be watching someone or someone's being very discerning about that. I'm going to ask a lot of questions. Yes, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like there's something here that, uh, that has to be tempered, that there's a need for some patience before you rush in towards someone. Okay, I feel like um, you're being very discerning. You have a lot of questions. There's a lot of things that you want to know. so Or you've cut somebody else out for being that way, or they've cut you out, okay? Because something has come to an end. But I feel if you can temper everything and you can heal this and you can hold back and be patient, I think you could get the wheel moving in your favor. And I think that's what you're thinking about. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Nine of Pentacles. This is two people who are both single that come together and have a lot of abundance. You see, there's somebody watching them. So I feel somebody here may have been... This can go two ways. When I see it in the middle, it's both people. So both of you are single. Both of you have a lot going for you. I feel that definitely if the two of you come together it's the wheel of fortune you both feel that you could be fortunate to be together you'd make a great couple okay i see this and i feel like you're there's somebody you want to rush towards and uh, but they may have cut you out or they're going to ask you a lot of questions it also could be you so we have yeah moving forward calmly and peacefully so you may be wanting to apologize to somebody or somebody's coming to talk to you apologize I got to tell you, Saj, I feel like it might be you <laughs> having to reach out and apologize or just reach out and go, hey, how are you doing? Right? Because it's happy. I feel like it's a friendly message. Um, are you single? Like, that's what I feel. You want to find out if someone's single. So you have to be patient. You want to rush in, but you need to find out if they're single. 
Yeah, and then once you do, the Wheel of Fortune does move in your favor if you can be patient and temper everything. Uh, because this person's going to be very discerning. So we've got uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, they could have Sag in their chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I see Earth here too. So pretty much everybody or anybody. Uh, it's really about the energy. So this is moving forward. I feel like you're going to want to see this person or you're going to talk to them. You're going to take everything that you learned that you deserved and you're going to move forward calmly and peacefully. You might want to just, maybe you're going to make peace with somebody. This has to do with reciprocity. Yeah, I feel like you both feel the same way. I, I do feel like you're a good fit. I think there's a lot of balance. I feel as though this person... Um, this could be you feeling very clear about this and you're really ready now to move forward, but it could be them as well. So take it however it resonates. Somebody may have cut somebody out for not being patient and they were trying to rush in and, uh, you know, work because they were worried they were going to rush out that things would end. So, and it could be you, maybe you've been like this with somebody and now you're thinking, hmm, I think I like this person. I think I want things to move forward. Uh, you see this person is the Wheel of Fortune. They certainly do. So you both feel the same way. Uh, I feel like somebody is going to reach out. Okay. Yeah. So here we got the world. Yes. Look at this. The world. Sitting on top of the world. Something. You, you hold this person in high regard here. You do. Like... If they reciprocate and they feel the same as you do, you're going to feel on top of the world. Things are going to evolve. You want things to move forward and go in your favor. So you're going to reach out. You may apologize or just, hey, how are you? Right? I feel like it's going to be a happy message. So, yeah, you want to charge forward. <laughs> you have to temper it, though. Uh, and if you got cut out for rushing in or rushing out and somebody cut you out, well, it needs to be healed. And you got to have to be patient. Okay, if you want things to go in your favor, this person's single, they hold themselves in high regard. Okay, uh, you do as well. You definitely want to ask if they're single or they may come in and ask you if you are. So, yes. So you you may be used to rushing in and out, but not with this person. But yeah, you like this person. So maybe you like that. <laughs> Tell me about the, whoops. The queen, yeah, so this person, some Libra energy, possibly somebody has made a decision to reach out, okay? Somebody wants a reconciliation, somebody wants to reciprocate something, or this person, there was maybe, they made a decision not to reciprocate and cut you out because you weren't being patient, take it as it resonates, okay? Uh, maybe there was a, somebody wants to, you know, I feel like you're, it's, I feel like it's you or them, but regardless it's a libra energy doesn't have to be of somebody who wants to reach out for a reconciliation but there's a decision that needs to be made whether or not to because this person may have cut you out before or you may have cut them out man oh man sad you guys you guys are something else let me tell you there you are very focused right there you are sagittarius <laughs> Very focused on the passion. You've been focusing on yourself a lot. You're focusing on tempering, healing yourself, tempering your emotions, being more patient, being more balanced. Okay? So, yes, you're going to have to focus on that. In the past, you might have been too focused on the passion, and uh, there wasn't a lot of balance. That needs to be fixed and healed, okay? So you need to put a little focus on yourself that way. This other person could be Aries, Leo, Sag. As well, they may have Earth in their chart. They might have Libra in their chart. Okay, or it's just an energy of judgment, a decision that needs to be made. Someone needs to be clear. They're going to ask a lot of questions. Somebody wants to make sure you're not just focused on the passion. Uh, they're looking for balance. Yes, they know there's chemistry. They feel it too. They feel like you're the right person. They're very focused on you. I feel like you're focused on them. Wow, tell me about this Knight of Wands. This is lovely. What's going on with you guys? Knight of Wands. What's happening with the Knight of Wands? Sagittarius. The Knight of Wands. Rushing in for the passion. Yeah, there you are. Now we got the King and Queen of Wands. Yeah, so you are really trying to... You're going to have to take control of this urge to rush in and out, okay? Uh, you got to get control of your passions, okay? I feel like you want to, you know, you really do want to take control. You want to charge in. You want to win. You, you know, you might be a little bit controlling, so there's some tempering there. 
You both might be button heads over this situation. Okay. Yes. So I feel as though... <laughs> interesting reading. So yes, I feel like you want to be in control. You want to be the boss. You want to take charge. You, know, you want to go in and fight for what you want. Because you, you, you see this person is just right. In fact, you are just right for each other. I can see that. You, you both know it. I think you have the willpower, the stamina, and the drive uh, to do this. You have a lot of urges right now. You need to tone it down if you want things to go in your favor or it will come to an end. This person here, they may have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in their chart. They're not so sure. They're about to make a decision whether or not they reciprocate. Somebody's trying to figure out if they feel the same or if they want to have a reconciliation, if that was the issue. Okay. There's a decision about to be made. And I, I feel like this person may have cut you out before. But we shall see. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Why is this here? There we go. Yeah, so someone's holding themselves in high regard. So they uh, there's a cycle that's ending. I think you're gonna you're not gonna be single anymore. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you're it's the end of your single life. <laughs> The end of holding yourself in higher regard, right? You Now you have to be a couple and hold each other in high regard, you see? It's about respect, working together, sharing the abundance. Very practical, very reliable couple. Look at that. Yes, you got to temper this. Wow. Somebody's got to make the decision whether they want to be single or not because i feel like this person's not going to let you rush in or out you can't they won't let you stay single and rush in and out they hold themselves in high regard and that'll be the end of it so but i think yeah wow something is ending something is beginning we got two single people here two fire energies yeah there's some conflict challenges competition yeah there you might be very competitive there may have been a little fighting about this somebody may feel there's competition somebody may have been acting single when they weren't for some of you somebody was stepping out a little bit i feel like you're quite competitive but i i feel like you want to take action you want to fight for this Okay, some of you are trying to fight to stay single, Sad. Some of you, boy, is that ever you guys? You like to stay single. You want to just rush in and out. You want to be off an adventure. You want to have a good time, right? It's not like you don't care for the person. I feel like you feel that they're a good fit. The chemistry is amazing. But it's like you don't want to stick around. But if you don't, there's going to be a fight. <laughs> You're either, I don't feel like this person's going to let you do that. Um, they hold themselves in high regard. They have a lot going for them. I think you see this person as the wheel of fortune. And uh, I think you're going to feel very... And if you're wa watching, if you're observing, you're going to be fortunate to know that... Like, I feel as though you want to know if there's competition. You might just ask them if they have anyone else. And you're going to feel very fortunate to find out they're single. It's the wheel of fortune. you got some good luck here. So take that good luck while it's being handed to you. <laughs> Yeah, you may want to take action against this person. You want to fight for this. You know, you're somebody's trying to fight to stay single or co being feeling conflicted about being single or pairing up with somebody. And then we have the happy card. Yeah, you see this person like it's from conflict to happiness. <laughs> oh, you guys, I love doing the sad readings. You guys, um. I feel as though somebody's not as conflicted, like they're not sure, they're fighting with themselves. They're not sure if they want to be single or be in a couple. So it's like you're fighting with yourself about whether or not you can be happy as a couple. This Nine of Pentacles has got two people, right? Two single people coming together. So we have the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? Oops, there we go. Yeah, so you see, you're a little conflicted here. And I feel like there's some things you're observing, you're trying to learn. So you can take the things you've learned from the past and move forward. Leave the things behind that don't work. So be careful about deceiving this person. If you reach out, they may reach out. You may not trust this person when they reach out or vice versa, okay? Because there's some kind of conflict in the past about whether somebody was actually single or not. 
or whether somebody wanted to be in a relationship or not, okay, whether it's you or them. Uh, I kind of feel like it's you, but <laughs> take it as it resonates, yeah. So I feel like you want to cooperate and compromise. You want to team up. So you're you're observing and learning. And whatever it is you're learning, you're going to reach out and you're going to either apologize. Uh, but don't try to be a trickster. Don't try to manipulate this. Because I feel like this person will be on to you. I feel like if you do that, there's going to be a fight. This person will uh, just stay single. Okay? Because they have everything they need. So be prepared for that if you you like this person a lot, but it's the whole oh, I don't know if you you don't want to be tied down kind of energy. Tell me about the six. You both feel the same way though. That's the thing is you both know if you come together that you're if there's a lot of abundance, like it's like it's almost like you complete me. Compet I know it just popped into my head, right? Feeling conflicted, fighting with yourself to be happy. I'm not so sure that you you want to be in a couple. Be careful. Cause a fight just to make yourself happy. And tell me about Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is this here? There we go. Yeah, so see, you both feel the same way. You both reciprocate the same feelings for each other. Your soulmates. You both, you know you're a good fit. You know you have a lot of chemistry. You know that you share a mental and emotional connection. It's there. You've got it all, right? It's... Let me just move that. I'm going to do this again. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. See if we can get a more direct, clear answer. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. Why is this here for Sagittarius? Why is this here for Sag? Virgo Capricorn energy. Yeah, you're going to be trying to be practical about this. Yeah, some of you just want to stay single and work on your money. But I feel like the two of you coming together, like you're working through a plan. You're trying to think of something. You're planning something here. You hold yourself in very high regard. You want to, and you hold money in very high regard too. You're trying to hold on to your money. That's your fear. That's why you're rushing in and out. So you're trying to be practical, grounded, being realistic about this. You're, you know, you're paying attention to the details. You're thinking and planning something. And I feel like you be careful if you reach out to somebody. Okay, this is an energy. All right, there's going to be conflict. You're, you're conflicted about what makes you happy, money or being with this person. Really? No. <laughs> Yeah, it's starting to look that way. We've got this earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So sad. You both may have some earth in your charts. Maybe both have some air. Um, let's see. What's this world all about? What's going to happen with the world? Yeah, somebody's standing up for what they believe in. So somebody's not sure what to believe. So I feel like this is the thing. Somebody's not so sure if you come in and offer that you're not manipulating uh, to get what you want, that you actually want to stay single. So they're not so sure. They're conflicted about whether you're going to make do anything to make them happy. And I feel like you're conflicted about whether you can be happy as a couple or you'd rather stay single. But you want this person. You're perfect for each other. And you know it too. They know it too. They're focused on this very much. They think you're very sexy and attractive. You think so. I feel like you both... You know, but I, you maybe you butt heads. Maybe there's conflict between you because of all this fire energy. But you've got the earth too. Uh, I feel like you're very much the same. Uh, I feel like you have a lot of similar elements in your charts that kind of balance you out and bring, give you this, this balance, this temperance, this chemistry. Because you're observing. Like you're observing this. You know this. You know this to be true. Okay. And you do have the willpower and the stamina, but you need to, this person wants someone who comes in and fights for them and fights for the relationship, the connection, but you really just want to stay in control. You want to, you want to be single. You want to be able to rush in and out, do what you want, but this person's exposed to this. They may have cut you out for this there. And if you come back in, they want to make sure, right? They're not so sure. They're making a decision whether or not they, how they feel about you right now. Okay. Uh, I feel like they, they get the connection. Uh, I feel that they would like to put an end to whatever's happened. And it, while well, something did happen because of that, you might have been a little overbearing, a little, you know, 
But uh, this could be either you or them. So some of you are concentrating, you know, very much focused on the chemistry and the balance, trying to temper everything. Uh, while you make a decision about a reconciliation or how you feel about somebody, if you still feel that same connection. And others of you want to control this. You want to be the boss. You know, a little bit of a gigolo energy, right? Want to rush in and rush out. Gigolo, I don't know what they call a female that does that, but please don't type those words in. Anything nasty, okay? Um, men a lot of times don't mind being called that, but... Not mean to offend anybody, but that's what this guy's kind of like, right? Somebody just wants to have all the fun and not really stick around. So I feel like you're trying to be realistic and practical. You're taking your time working through this process to see if you feel this way. You're pretty conflicted, yeah, to see how you feel about commitment, living with somebody, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. You do feel a connection. You both feel exactly the same reciprocating the same feelings and emotions back and forth. You're both thinking about reaching out. You're both waiting for the other person to reach out. Okay, but it's not happening. But this person's got their boundaries up. It's you or them. Um, you may have your boundaries up. Be guarded. Be ready for this. Um, if this person comes back to you, if we're reading it that way, they had best be changed. Things best evolve. Because this person stands up for what they believe in. And it's both of you, possibly, but uh, you're both taking a stand. You both believe the other person should reach out. Ain't going to happen. Somebody needs to be, I'm going to say, whether you're a man or a woman, someone needs to be the bigger man or the better, the bigger person. Uh, someone's holding themselves in, in really high regard here, and they'll just put an end to this whole thing and walk away. Uh, this is going to take both of you to compromise and work together. You're both going to have to compromise something. You're both going to have to be team players and work together here. Things are going to move forward peacefully because uh, there's we've got a standoff here between two fire signs. Like One day they're going to have these animated tarot cards that I can push and little pictures will come up and they'll do things. That's what I'm hoping for. You'll see these two having a little fight with their wands, right? Button heads. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. What do they call that? Um, not like virtual reality, but uh, oh, I used to see it in the Star Wars movies where they could do something. You could see two people. Yeah, somebody will tell me what it means. There's a word for it, a name for it. Yeah, I'd like to see tarot cards like that, actually. <laughs> All right, observer. What's being observed here? So you're watching this person, I think, and you're thinking and observing how you feel. Uh, you're probably um, thinking about how they feel about you, whether they still feel the same. Yeah, you're feeling lonely. Yeah, you, you're realizing that you feel lonely. You feel left out in the cold. You Maybe you feel like you're not good enough for this person or you can't do it. Yeah. Tell me about happy, happy. What's this happy, happy about? Moving forward calmly and peacefully. Somebody else got these two cards. Boy, things are going to move pretty soon. I tell you guys, things are going to move. It's just a matter of time. Get out there and text. Now's the time to do it while we're all sitting at home. Start talking. Work things out before you get together and you can actually butt heads. <laughs> yeah. Moving forward, somebody's going to take everything they learned. You see, I see this card a lot. Like, it's manipulation, it's lies, deception. Somebody might be apologizing for not being honest. All right. But I also see that somebody, this is also a card of leaving the things behind that don't work. Taking the things that you learn from it and moving forward with the six of wands. Taking those swords and moving forward. Okay, taking that knowledge to make things go in your favor. So let's hope somebody isn't going to be dishonest and deceptive and try to tell someone they want to make peace when they really just want to try to manipulate to get things going in their favor. Because if that's what happened, I'm going to tell you, oh, I said if that's what happened, somebody is going to cut you out, okay, if it's you. But it could be you. Like I said, you can flip this energy completely. It's all good. I don't mean to offend anyone. I just got to read it the way it is. and So... Yeah, so this person's going to be very discerning because you've got this queen here. See, she starts out like this, and then when you guys reconnect and talk, this person 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy is going to sit there, this Queen of Swords, and, and ask, no, you can't have everything your way. Have you not learned anything? <laughs> when will you ever learn? <laughs> you can't have everything your way. Yeah, so, yeah, it's either, you know, you can't just make yourself happy. This person wants to be happy too. So maybe you're observing this. Maybe you feel bad. You left this person out in the cold or maybe they're leaving... You know, they've left you out in the cold and now it's making you go within and observe things. Maybe it's happened to you. Maybe you've had a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius cut you out for the same thing. Or maybe somebody cut you out and they treated you that way. And now you're seeing things, right? You're observing this from a different perspective is kind of how it is. I'm surprised the, you know, that's what comes to mind. You're feeling left out, feeling lonely. Maybe this person cut you off, ghosted you. Or vice versa. Okay, so take that as it resonates. But yeah, this the queen isn't putting up with that. You can't have everything your way. This cycle will end um, if you haven't learned from your mistakes. Or you're going to end it with them if they haven't learned. Okay, there will be no dishonesty and no deception here. There's only a commitment. That's the only way to reconcile here. So tell me about poised. Why is poised here? There we go. Yeah, so somebody's waiting. That came at the end of another reading, too. Yeah, so somebody's trying to gain the, keep their strength up, the strength and the confidence to keep waiting. So, or somebody is, yeah, trying to be confident that there's a message. Somebody feels confident. Looks like you, Sag, with this fire energy, but it could be a Leo. This person could be a Leo. All right, this could be a, one of you, these two is a Leo. And I feel as though... This person's pretty confident that you're going to communicate with them or they're confident. But like I said, you both feel confident the other person's going to reach out to you. You both feel the same. <laughs> you're duplicates. Whoever you are, you're perfectly matched. Just marry the person already, okay? Yeah, because I feel like you're perfect. You're There's marriage here. There's a solid foundation. And I think you know this. I think you're thinking about this you're working through it or they are this is an energy of somebody who's working through the details taking their time very meticulously they want to make the right decision this is about your overall happiness commitment marriage living together that kind of thing okay there's some details that need to be worked out so uh, i feel like somebody is thinking and planning something and i'm hoping it's not to come in offer an apology hopefully to say they learned their lesson but it's kind of looking it could be deceptive for some of you so or they might be a little sneaky or feel a little bit conflicted and a little bit shy could be embarrassment too okay guilt somebody's coming in a little sheepish here because they feel guilty for that in and out behavior i don't feel like anybody was trying to be malicious to the other person i feel more like someone just really didn't want to settle down but they really liked somebody a lot so but yeah i'm not seeing third parties or anything like that just somebody wasn't sharing equally someone was doing all the giving more more than the other person yeah the answer is why so somebody's trying to figure out why all right why did you do this why this happened why that happened so there's a lot of things that you're asking this person's going to ask a lot of questions this could be you and then we have the fate yeah this is a faded thing whatever it is that's going to happen next between you is faded i feel like you're very much the same i think yep yeah, your soulmates and i feel I'll tell you these cards i feel as though you both feel the same, but you're both stubborn the same as well as you both have the same emotional feelings. You're both, um, no, you both know you need to cooperate and compromise for things to move forward peacefully. You both need to learn from the past and not repeat those same mistakes. You're both guarded, defensive. You both believe the other person that this person is going to come back around uh, and using all the strength you have to wait. Somebody feels pretty confident here. Uh, strong that the other person's coming so they're just waiting so this is looking out so this person's gonna hang on for a while like they're you know this person's poised and ready to go like if somebody else comes in i gotta tell you that if this is a leo it doesn't have to be it can be any sign but this person's if something else comes in another ship something better they're not going to stick around but for now they're holding strong 
and they're, they feel confident you're going to come back around, but they are a confident enough person that if somebody else comes in, they're gone, okay? So I have to let you know that um, because that's the three of staves to me as someone that's holding on to something but looking out into the future. So if a better ship comes in, okay, yep, serendipity. <laughs> if a better ship comes in, it's like, yahoo, off I go, you see? That's what's going to happen if... So if it's you and you need to reach out, I would suggest you do it soon because um, this person's got a lot of confidence, a lot of strength. They will wait. They will hold on for a bit, but uh, another ship could come in. So just because I love Sages so much, I'm going to say, who is the next ship that's coming in? Actually, it could be a Leo coming into this person. They could be an Aries, Sag, Leo, and they could have another, another strong connection there, someone else that comes in. So let's see. Tell me about the three of wands. Who's the next ship? Who's coming next? Who's coming in next towards Sagittarius' this person? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody who wants love and nurturing. This person's been through a lot, so they're only going to wait for so long. And then there is somebody else who's going to come in. Queen of Cups. Okay. The Queen of Cups is going to come in. Uh, somebody who's loving, nurturing, caring. Someone who's had a tough time too. So, yeah, that's what's going to happen. Message in a bottle. It's telling you it's time to message this person, time to communicate. Okay, so if you're a cross watcher watching this, take it as it resonates to you. So, you know, flip this however you need to, but it's time to message. It's time to get it going because somebody else is going to come in. This person won't wait. They're a very strong person, like very strong, very confident, and um, and very poised. They know exactly. They're poised and ready to go for the next ship, and it's right there. All right, so you guys take care of yourselves. Everybody's got to go, damn, I got a time frame. Yeah, I know a lot of you are going to go, no, nah, I don't care about that person, but hmm, do you really? How do you really feel? It's telling you to, to think about your feelings, all right? To decide whether you still feel the same way. Make a decision to either cut them out or to get very clear about your feelings. Because I feel a lot of you, if you're cross-watching this and you're an Aries, Leo, Sag, maybe even a Scorpio or something, okay, possibly. I feel like you've had a tough time. I think you love this person. I think there's chemistry. I think you're still focused on them. I do. All right, you guys. Everybody take care of yourselves. I wish you the best. Stay safe, all right? Bye for now.